The stories we tell ourselves is such an incredible record. It's on replay. Um, I want to talk about two songs that you guys co-wrote with uh, Clint Lowry. Can we? What was that experience like going into the studio and creating these tracks with them? Um, it was a dream come true for us. Uh, he was actually the first person in the music industry to hear our music uh, years ago, before we were signed, before yeah. anybody knew who we were. Um, long story short, a friend of mine knew him. I sent him our music, fell in love with it, but then years passed and we still never got the chance to work together. Right. So we were always big Seven Dust fans. Uh, it just went amazing. He's very creative, very humble, very good guy. Right. Now, tell me about creating this record. I believe it's the fifth record, um, right? To me, to me, this uh, well, that's the funny thing, cause like to me, like I thought you guys were a brand new band, and then I started researching after I heard the record, and I was like, holy shit, they have a lot of music. I've just been sleeping. So, <laughs> so what what was so different this time around on this record, going into the studio and creating it? You know, this is the first record where Ben over here actually got to play drums on the whole record. Johnny normally had played drums as well as sang on everything. So it was really cool that Johnny actually got to be a singer right. and focus on the vocals and the lyrics. And this time on this record, you guys actually did it yourselves. Um, what, what was that like? Why didn't you guys go and, and work with a producer knowing that you guys could possibly do that? Uh, you know, when you do it yourself, you get to absolutely make sure it comes out how you want it you know and uh, you're not working on anyone else's timeline uh, and you know the label is cool enough to let us do it ourselves again because we did the previous two records like that and I don't know it's fun for us you know we like to stay uh, creatively in control right and while you guys were creating that record you guys were creating the new item that's on stage now the scorpion tail um, tell me what that was like so far you guys have already used it you guys used it over the weekend at aftershock what has that been like uh, yeah, it's uh, it's actually uh, one of uh, Dan's creations. Uh, it's just this big, crazy controller. It kind of lets Johnny uh, DJ the band, and it's uh, it's just a big, heavy piece of gear. But it's uh, it's a lot of fun to use. Well, Johnny uses. It. Yeah, yeah, it's an it's a fun toy, man. It's a instrument. Uh, it was a brainchild that we had all created, and I wanted to DJ the band, and then Dan made it a reality by building it.